In this video, I want to talk about two terms, therapeutic window and therapeutic index. They both relate to the drug safety and also to how much drug to prescribe. So let's start with the therapeutic window. This is a range of concentrations or doses of a drug that provide therapeutic efficacy with minimal toxicity. So if we look at a dose response curve, so if you have on the x-axis the concentration of the drug or the dose of the drug, and here we have the drug's effect, usually get the sigmoid curve. And so the therapeutic window refers to the range of concentration. So let's pose all these different drug concentrations that we can use where the drug has a certain effect, but not yet any significant toxicities. So we can also see that here at this window, so we can say, well, if a drug like acetaminophen that we use to treat pain, at one point we're going to see pain relief below that, probably not. We can stay in here, but then if we go too high, we're also going to see some toxic effects. Better if the drug has a larger therapeutic window, because that means that we have a lot of wiggle room. We can do use a lot of concentrations and can increase the dose before we hit toxic concentrations. Now, what is the therapeutic index? So the therapeutic index is not a range of concentration. It's just a number. So for example, for acetaminophen, acetaminophen, this number is 20. For digoxin, this number is 2. So the therapeutic index is defined as the lethal dose for 50% of the population divided by the effective dose in 50% of individuals. Now, there are two differences. Now, there are a couple of important differences. First of all, as I said, it's just a number because you have just this quotient. Second, you need to figure out this doses in a population. So I've drawn here a human population, but usually this is done actually in animals. So I should have rather drawn here some mice because obviously it's hard to, you cannot measure lethal doses in a human population. But so what this early 50 stands for the dose of the drug that pro produces a lethal response in 50% of the individuals. And the ED50 is kind of the effective dose, so the dose where you see in 50% of the individuals a specific effect. So let's say lowering the pain level, level to a certain extent. It's kind of the same principle that you want to also have a high number. The higher the number, the better, because it means you have a lot of wiggle room. You can increase the dose before hitting the lethal dose. So the index is a number. Index refers to always a number. And the window is a window, so it's a range of concentrations. So that's how you can easily remember.